Bruce Wolf, Dan Profton, uh, visiting us today on his way out of Illinois. Brad Thor, New York Times bestselling author, and uh, he, he's uh, bought the compound, the Johnny Cash compound in Hendersonville, Tennessee. Right, that's, that's, where, that's where I'm going to be. Yeah. Yeah. So me and, and my Rottweilers. And you mentioning to us that you're going to wind up meeting, uh, having that tent a tent with uh, Rob. Rob Blagojevich. R-O-B. Yeah, you know what? He's a Republican. He's down in Nashville. And I had a bunch of people say, well, you guys have got Illinois in common. And let's get you together for some uh, cigars and some whiskey. And so that's going to be one of my first uh, social forays sure. out into polite society and down that, in Nash Vegas. And that meeting, of course, will be taped by the authorities. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I'll make sure to be really heavy with the F word there. No, it's funny because, because our, our, by all accounts, I don't know Rob with the B, Blagojevich, but by all accounts, he's actually supposed to be a pretty good guy. And That's what I've heard. And and yeah, I've, I've heard nothing about uh, nothing about him that is nice. Yeah. yeah. So, well, yeah. It'll be good seeing you come back to Chicago for the third trial for Rob Blagojevich. <laughs> That's when you right. have to testify uh, on his behalf. Uh, but anyway, this uh, Congressman Joe Garcia, a Democrat, thank goodness, from Florida, we talked about him last week because he was caught on C-SPAN, one of the most riveting moments on C-SPAN, uh, picking his ear and taking the wax out and then contemplating it and then eating it. Until Cliff Robertson told him to get that finger out of his ear. <laughs> All right, there we go. The fingers he might want to go to his other ear now and take more wax and stuff his mouth with it uh, because what uh, comes out of his mouth is very interesting. He, uh, he praised uh, communism. So, Brad, we were trying to parse that a little bit earlier, but you're an author. Maybe you know, you put sentences together. Maybe you can tell us what that means. Well, as is typical of Democrat politicians, he has no grasp of the facts whatsoever. One of the cities he was talking about was El Paso. El Paso has a, an unemployment rate that's above the national average. The crime is terrible down there. But listen, the... Is, I, is El Paso a communist enclave? No. No, no one knew? I, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I don't, that's what doesn't... You know, this is, this is funny because I have long held and believed that the end game of the Democrat Party really is communism. I really believe that if you look at all of their policies, that's what they would like to see. And every once in a while, while the mask slips, and this this guy's praising communism, and then when he gets nailed for it, he says, "Oh, it's just a joke. It's just a joke." It's like who jokes about communism? Do you know any communists? Do you know any Maoists? I don't know any, but you had Van Jones in the White House. You had Anita Dunn, who's the Maoist. You know, a friend of mine, his grandmother used to always say, "Show me your friends, and I'll show you your future." Well, show me friends of politicians, and I'll show you the future of your country, your city, whatever it may be. There you go. All right. Let's uh, now that we've dispensed with uh, Mr. Garcia. Uh, do you have any opinions based on a reasonable degree of certainty in your profession as a guy who sits behind the typewriter all day and makes up stuff? <laughs> uh, Thank you for establishing my bona fides right up front. We, we want people to know this is going to be solid. Take it to the bank. Well, uh, because we've been debating. I'm like, you know, for the rooftop owners because I'm for the people. And Dan is for, it, is for the man. He's for the man. He's for the Ricketts. He's there trying to get a job yeah. in the Ricketts administration in Nebraska. Seriously. Yeah. So, so you've got to break the tie right here. On well, the rooftop. so so here's the deal. If this had been a while ago when they were talking about even getting into a contract, the minute you legitimize something, it's legit. Okay. So if you didn't like the rooftop owners, you shouldn't have gotten into a contract with them. You can't say, well, we wanted to peel income off of that and get it a while ago. Uh, and then now say somehow that it's not legitimate. But on the other side of it, I make my money creating a product. And I certainly wouldn't want people, so I, I have people doing BitTorrent files in my books. I, we have people that'll steal books, run them through a Xerox machine to make a PDF of the book, slice the razor blade the pages out, and then put it up on the internet for free. So I don't like my work product being stolen. So the wow. idea that you could build rooftops decks and look in and charge people for seeing that game. I never thought that that was cool. But you know what? You live by the sword, you die by the sword. If the contract's up and Wrigley wants to say, you know what? We're going to put in our own seats and we're going to put up billboards. It's their private property. It's their right. Hey, rooftop owners, you had a good run. But uh, to think that you can just kind of be this parasite or this leech on the back of the Cubs organization, yeah, I think... Anyway, how do I steal your books again? What am I supposed to do? You have to, you have to get some, some hackers from the, the People's Liberation Army. There we go. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. exactly. Forget about Al Alcoa. Al We've got Brad <laughs> Thor's bestseller, and your next bestseller is coming out. Because it will be a bestseller. And you know yeah. what? We're talking about doing something special for WS listeners. 
for mm. the book. I'm going to come back to Chicago. Taking them all to Nashville? Uh, yeah, I'm going to help you uh, fly. I'm going to bring a, a U-Haul representative with me to the book signing, and we're going to pass out material. But no, we're in talks right now, very high-level talks with WLS to do something special for the listeners uh, in July. Yeah, let's see if it pans out. All right, well, coming up at 849, uh, we'll talk about uh, what your parting gift is going to be today, which is a pack of e-cigarettes. Excellent. So we'll talk about that. Excellent.